Hello, Storytime friends, and welcome back. I have a delicious story time ready for you for today, all about my favorite summertime treat, which is, can you guess? Can you guess what it is? It's not meatballs. It's not broccoli. It's ice cream. Do you guys love ice cream? <gasps> have you had any ice cream yet this summer? Oh my goodness. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. What kind do you like? Do you like strawberry or vanilla the sprinkles or rainbow? I know there's a lot of rainbow, rainbow ice cream lovers out there. So I have two stories today about ice cream. This is going to make me hungry for an ice cream cone. So oh, I don't think I have any ice cream. I might have to go get some after this one. Um, but I have two great stories here for you today. Um, today's first story is called Sweet Success. And if an ice cream cone could look cute, I didn't know that that was possible. But look how cute this little ice cream cone is. This is by Liz and Jimmy Reed. Look at that cute little ice cream cone. Huh, so cute. Okay. Sprinkle D. Scoops. Her name is Sprinkle D. Scoops. She loved to make things. She whipped up any project that came to mind. Why pick flowers when you can make them, she says. Starting a new project was fun, but finishing it was something else. Oh, look at her there. Well, she's got a lot going on. See all her stuff she has there? Scoops was in the middle of so many projects that she forgot to complete the most important one of all, which was, you're invited to the Cherry Twins Surprise Birthday Bash. Saturday at 2 p.m., please bring homemade gifts. Do not be late. We don't want to spoil the surprise. From Waffle. Mm. Her present wasn't even close to being done, and the party was today. If Scoops was late, she would miss the big surprise. Oh, we can't have that. She scrambled to finish the present in time. The painting was still wet as Scoops dashed out the door. I hope it dries on the way, she said. That's a pretty little picture she drew. By the time she arrived, the surprise was over. Surprise! She heard them yelling before she got in. The cherry twins were gushing over everyone's handmade goodies. Scoops glanced at her gift and she froze. Oh no, no, no. The painting was a wet, gooey mess. <gasps> I can't give them this, she thought. She didn't want anyone to see her meltdown. I, I have to split, guys. Scoop just wanted to go home, but she was so upset that she missed her turn. Everything around me is just crumbling, she said. Now she was headed the wrong way, and Scoops had no idea where she was going. I'm not starting anything new ever again. Oh, look at this. This says good luck. It looks like she's in the middle of something. Oh, is she in the middle of a race? Then Scoops heard cheering. Don't give up. What's going on, she thought. It's a race. Soon her cold thoughts from the party melted away. Well, there's no turning back now, she said. And finally, she saw the end in sight, said the finish line. Look at that. Look at that. Scoops crossed the finish line and shouted with glee. Hooray, I did it. Congrats. Completing the race made Scoops remember what she loved most. No time for rest, she said. Starting a project was fun, but finishing it was something else. I love it so much. I love it more, said the Cherry Twins. Oh, she redid their picture. Scoops' love for finishing things didn't stop there. You want to see something else? She told her friends about her biggest project yet. A dream garden. And together they all helped Scoops finish what she started. Oh, look at that. All her friends came and they made a garden. That would be a great project to have, wouldn't it? Oh, I liked Scoops. And there's a picture of the art author, authors and artists 
and with the scoops look at that they didn't draw those pictures they really made them and then photographed them that's pretty cool okay i'm getting hungry for some ice cream guys getting hungry for some ice cream with some sprinkles on top okay we're gonna read one of my favorites this is curious george by margaret and h.a ray this is curious george and the ice cream surprise <clears throat> George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One hot afternoon, he heard jingle, 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 jingle. What could that music be? George was curious about the melody that he heard coming through the window. That's an ice cream truck, George, said the man with the yellow hat. You know summertime is here when you start hearing the music of the ice cream truck. George loved trucks and he loved ice cream. Ice cream would taste so good on a hot day like today, he would find this wonderful ice cream truck right away. He started to climb out the window, but his friend stopped him. George had to finish his lunch first. Oh yeah, that's important. Can't forget that. By the time George rushed out the door, the music was gone. Don't worry, George, the man said. The ice cream truck makes a trip around town each day, all summer long. We'll catch the ice cream truck tomorrow. Let's go to the pool. Oh, the next day it got hotter and hotter. That's just like here, huh? George waited for the ice cream truck, but there was no sight or sound of it. Let's go to the pool, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George ran to get his towel. Splashing around in the pool would be great, would be a great way to beat the heat. But the pool was closed for renovation. Look on the bright side, George. By autumn, we'll have a larger pool with three diving boards. Won't that be fun? It did sound fun. But George needed to cool off now, not in the autumn. So George went back to waiting for the ice cream truck. He dreamed of vanilla and chocolate and strawberry ice cream bars. George thought he heard the music of the ice cream truck once, but it was just a little boy in his harmonica. George and his neighbors decided to go to the park to run through the sprinklers. But just as they arrived, the sprinklers were turned off. Oh, poor George, he's not having any luck. It was a long walk back home, and luckily for George, there was lemonade waiting for him on the porch. George took a drink and made a face. It was warm. Sorry, George, the man with the yellow hat said. Our freezers decided to stop working. All our ice cubes have melted. Now would be the perfect time to hear the sweet sound of the ice cream truck. Wait, was that it? Yes, there it is. The truck was just turning the corner. Wave it down, George. I'll be right back with my wallet. The man rushed into the house, but the ice cream truck driver could not see the little monkey on the curb. The truck was not driving very quickly, but it was driving away. Oh, George looked back at his house. He looked at the truck and then he had an idea. George climbed a tree and swung from branch to branch to branch until he swung right onto the roof of the ice cream truck. He rode the truck into town. The truck stopped beside the town park. A window on the side opened up and a small child and her mother stopped to buy ice cream. George could not believe his eyes. The little girl had ordered a frozen treat that looked exactly like a chocolate covered banana. Oh, George danced happily. He knew exactly what to order. The little girl saw him and she laughed. So many people wanted ice cream that the driver ran out of change. He hurried over to the nearby bank to get more. Meanwhile, George noticed that the ice cream line was getting very long. Everyone looked hot. There was no shade to stand in. Maybe he could help. George jumped down into the truck where it was dark and cool. He grabbed as many ice cream bars, cones, and ice pops as he could. He handed them out to the waiting children, their parents, and even their pets. George worked so quickly that he didn't remember to collect money for the ice cream. No one seemed to mind, except for the ice cream man. He wasn't happy. What have you done? He cried when he returned. Half of my ice cream is gone. George climbed up a telephone pole. George was very glad to see his friend hurrying toward the park. Hold on a minute, said a voice below. Look at how everyone is enjoying themselves. It's been the hottest summer in our town history. An ice cream social is exactly what we needed. It was the mayor, and she offered to pay for everyone's ice cream. Thank you, George, for your great idea. I think the town should sponsor an ice cream party every summer. The ice cream truck driver was happy to keep serving ice cream. 
George and the man with the yellow hat helped. The ice cream man saved one last treat for George, a chocolate covered banana sickle. Delicious. And that is the end. Now I hope that you have ice cream in your future. I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Have a great day, bye.